Well, I'm going to definitely work on this project today. This uh, air pollution in my room is really getting to me. I get this thing fixed. I need some uh, oil, uh, three in one motor oil, electric motor oil. I need a little punch to punch that out with, which I don't seem to have anywhere. And uh, then I can work on this thing. I have a cup of coffee right now. It's a really beautiful day. <clears throat> oh, good morning. It's Saturday, I think. 20th of February, 2016. I'm going to try to get some stuff wrapped up around here. So I have to be leaving pretty soon to uh, go deal with storage issues. I have to deal with some storage issues and I have to start dealing with a deficit issue. Which means I'm going to take two or three jobs because <clears throat> I can't get my mom to cut anything. We're just going to keep spending a thousand a month on junk food. I don't know what to say. Um, I guess I'll start with the, well, let's start with walking the dog over you know, from there. Well, that's funny. <laughs> Sitting here talking to a camera that's not even running. Anyway, I'm headed down to get some gas. Uh, and then I'm going to head up to uh, Banger. Banger Hardware. They have, uh, apparently have the electric motor oil I've been looking for. The three-in-one electric motor oil. Of course, I'm going to get there and it won't be the right stuff again. I don't know, I should be a little more optimistic, I guess. Beautiful day. Okay, I got a little over $10 worth of gas. Now up to Bangor. Got a half tank. Oh, that was perfect, so. Got the, got a pin punch. And the, uh, and it's a, a thing of electric motor oil. And it goes another 10 bucks plus 10 for something for gas. <laughs> so I've got about <laughs> another 20 some odd dollars out today. I swear it's really hard to do anything. It's just such a bleeding, bleeding cash. seem to get ahead because you know, <laughs> this all the maintenance is just incredible and we don't even have that much maintenance okay I'm gonna go back I'll fix that machine today I'll clean some stuff and wash some clothes try to clear out the living room a little bit give my mom a little sanity that's today's plan well, my mom's sending me out to the McDonald's over in Jersey again. So on the McDonald's kick, we don't even have any coupons or anything. Uh, she wants another 12 hamburgers or cheeseburgers with extra onions and uh, pickles on them. Taking me off the computer project. I'm trying to get the computer back running again. And I can't seem to uh, get it to boot up to the to the disk. So I don't know what to do. I don't remember what I did last time. I think I might have had an external disk. I don't know. Okay, we're 
McDonald's food, junk food. Ugh. Aggravating. <laughs> it's just aggravating. I don't know what to say. Yeah, back to McDonald's. Good for you. Okay, lots of uh, McDonald's burgers for my mom. <laughs> Unreal. Well, I'm gonna try to get back on that computer project. I'm trying to get Firefox reinstalled. onto my uh, Linux Mint box. Okay, I got most of this cleaned and put back together. It spins really easy now. I don't see anything keeping the shaft from going back and forth though. That's kind of weird. Maybe that thing broke loose and it's moving back and forth. I guess these things will keep it from going anywhere. I don't know. I have to look at the films and see, uh, see how this was put back together to see which way this this faced because there's two different ways it can go well, today's kind of a mess wasn't able to uh, get the computer running I went and tried to get another computer working there's not even a video card in it all the uh, parts are put away because they've been trying to clear up stuff. I don't know where the heck they are. There's another one that my sister was throwing out at a garage sale. I'm going to try to get that one running and it's got a code on it. I can't, can't get past. The BIOS has uh, locked with a password. I'll have to figure out how to reset that but that doesn't even have a CD on it to install an operating system. Not sure if I can put a FreeBSD operating system on. I can't fix the Linux one because it's been like three more, three more uh, upgrades have come and they've shut down the computers that had the upgrades for it. Some more aggravation than it's worth to run Linux. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna always go back to FreeBSD. At least they're. They support their uh, stuff for a while. Well, you guys have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.